Hey, good evening, everybody. It's about 8 o'clock on your Sunday evening. We're expecting strong to severe storms overnight, so we're going to walk through the timing as well as the threats and a few tips and uh, good reminders since we haven't had overnight severe weather in quite a while. And it is going to be pretty widespread across Kentucky, Anna. So uh, most of our viewing area is actually going to be affected by these storms. We are at a level two of five on the severe weather potential scale. So what that means for us is just that we need to be staying weather they're aware any storm that gets going is going to have the capability to produce damaging wind gusts, frequent lightning, heavy rain, and a non-zero tornado threat. That tornado threat, I know that's what I get asked about the most. It's not zero. It's a very small threat, but I cannot rule out the possibility for a brief isolated spin up. That being said, there's a few things you can do to prepare at this time. Make sure that you're staying up to date on the forecast, which of course, if you're watching this video is what you're already doing right now. You do wanna make sure that you put your alerts on high volume. So if that's going to be your cell phone, make sure that your volume is on and that phone is charged up in the event that in case you lose power. Uh, keep that weather radio close by and you wanna make sure that you and your family I have a, a designated safe space. So looking across the radar right now, we're still quiet here in Kentucky, and as of this video, again, it's about eight o'clock, but look off to the west and northwest, and that's a bit of a preview to what we're going to be seeing later on. There's quite a bit of lightning on that leading edge of the complex of storms, and there's been several tornado warned supercells there. I have not seen any confirmation that there's anything actually on the ground, but uh, it just goes to show you that this system, at least in the atmosphere that Illinois is in right now, does have the ability, at least, to produce a bit of rotation. So as we take you into the next several hours, still looks like we're going to be dry by the 10 o'clock hour. This is really going to be an overnight event. So we may very well not even see anything in our northwestern most counties in southern Indiana until, say, after midnight tonight. I do have our primary timing from 11 o'clock tonight until five o'clock tomorrow morning. But this uh, is going to depend if the storm wants to speed up a little bit or slow down as it approach our neck of the woods. So here we go into the overnight, expect it uh, in the city by at least three or four o'clock in the morning and still going to be uh, around Southern Indiana at this time. It's really just going to start to blossom and spread out, become a little bit more scattered. But also notice that the storms are going to want to set up in favor north of the Bluegrass Parkway. So if you're in Green Taylor or Adair counties, I really don't think you're going to see a whole lot out of this deal. By five o'clock tomorrow morning, we may just have a few stragglers out there but the vast majority of us will already be dry by that point. Going into the time that say you're taking your kiddos to school if they already started the year, or if you're headed off to work eight o'clock in the morning, we should be dry by that point. The storms aren't gonna stay away for long though, because as we go into the latter half of tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a few spot storms. Coverage isn't going to be as great as what we're expecting this evening, but still a few storms nonetheless. Rainfall potential, uh, we could have a few light localized spots that are around an inch, maybe even an inch to a half if the right storm sets up over top of you. Otherwise, expect generally about a half inch to uh, just short of one inch in many spots. So our impacts here uh, and a brief rundown of basically of what I just said. So 11 o'clock tonight until five o'clock tomorrow morning, the main threats, damaging wind up to 70 miles per hour going to be possible, heavy rainfall, frequent lightning with any of those storms as I just showed you on radar. Those storms have been uh, very frequent uh, lightning producers there. Also hail. Hail isn't our main concern, but we could certainly see uh, some larger hail, maybe up to the size of a golf ball. So now's the time to prepare. Make sure you have one, at least two ways to receive alerts if a warning is issued in your neighborhood. A quick look at the seven day here. We are at least going to cool down because these storms are associated with a cold front. So we will only make it to the middle 80s for at least the mid and late part of the work week here. Tuesday looks like your best bet for a totally dry day, but then by Wednesday evening, Stretching through about Saturday, we're going to be dodging some showers and thunderstorms. So I'm going to be here until the threat is finished. Again, make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts. And if any warnings are issued, I will be cutting into programming as I see fit and then also posting to social media. Everybody stay safe and have a great night.